Hey, this is Scott, and I wanted to give you a little preview of what we're doing on the Praxis level of Patreon so you have a better understanding of what that meditation process is. Um, I've been meditating for a long time, uh, many years. Uh, early on was a lot of uh, practice trying and dabbling, and then later on in my life I started to adopt certain programs that uh, helped me to achieve a depth in my meditation that I really appreciated through uh, Reiki practices, through mindfulness practices, and then later through occult and magical practices found in um, Western esoteric traditions and modern paganism and magic. So <clears throat> what I've done is over the years found the parts that worked best for me and played with those. In the Patreon over the last couple of years as we've run it, what we've had there is an experiment to see what's the best meditation program that sort of worked for the visionary experiences that we want to do there. because. The primary mode of the meditation that we do is to have a visionary experience, that is to enter dimensions of the mind and go places and experience things and bring them back for learning, for growth, for transformation and development. So we have a kind of vehicle for that experience in the Patreon meditations, which is alignment, which is heart centering, which is breathing and relaxation, which is creating a kind of sphere of awareness for us to then jump off into these meditation experiences. And when I teach Reiki or I teach energy work or I teach magic, I often use that as the primary vehicle to to sort of launch us all into whatever the experience is. And it's great, not just for the individual, because as you meditate in a program or a method in which everyone is practicing, you start to overlap each other. You start to have an experience together. And that's also a benefit of that, um, uh, having a common core practice. So uh, in order to keep people focused on the meditation and engaged in meditation in their life, you know, it's not to say that it needs to be exciting or, you know, like we need to create things to like sort of force the process. But I do believe in curiosity and, uh, you know, I do believe in exploration and I do believe that this is a consciousness experience and that meditation doesn't always have to be the same three things or the same five things that it can start with these core practices and then guide us into other spaces. And so what I've done on this go around of meditations is use the tarot as a vehicle for exploration of consciousness, of energy, of awareness through the core meditation practices that we have explored in the Patreon. Now I have videos there which already go over the core practices and I'm about to do an update on those to see what they look like. And then um, we, I invite you to get a tarot deck or I invite you to use the tarot deck that I've photographed in each of the meditations and we start to walk through it. We began a few months ago with the um, suit of wands, the element of fire, and we walked through those meditations which were primary a visionary or um, energetic experience. We paused, we digested that. You know, everybody's moving at their own pace. It's not that everybody has to be there every week at the same time. Uh, I provide them for you. It's an experiment, uh, it's an exploration, and you're welcome to provide your feedback. We took a little break and we jumped into water, which is where we're at right now. So where the, the wands experience was us really looking at energy and really looking at visionary states and guided visualizations, water tends to be a little bit more somatic and mindful for me. So, you know, I've leaned into the skills or meditations that I've like um, addressed my own mindfulness through like Jack Kornfield and Thich Nhat Hanh uh, and more Buddhist practices, mindfulness practices from the East and drawn those into that vehicle and still using the tarot as a backdrop for or a framing for the experience, we start to explore what that is. So we've looked at sources, We've looked at feeling, and this week we've dropped into a sort of falling into feeling to be more present in the now. I don't know where these meditations will take us, right? Because part of what I do in my work is channel, right? Over, be overshadowed, like listen to your spirit team or listen to spirit and receive information about what's next or where we're going. And part of what I do is intersect the world, the energy of now what's happening, what's happening in the stars, what's happening in the world, what's happening on the table, you know, like I would say in past uh, writing or experiences, you know, with clients and finding common narratives. And in those common narratives and in those influences, we start to see a story. And, um, and I think that that also intersects a lot of what we do as well.
So if you're asking, what is praxis? What is this meditation thing that Scott's doing? Uh, it's, it's this. It's, it's a developed core practice that I like to use in meditation, which is part breath work, part alignment, part heart centering, part visualization, right? It's easy. Uh, and then using other elements to, to explore what that means for us and as a tool for personal reflection and transformation. They're all available at the Praxis level, at the Patreon. If you subscribe at that level, you get those and the weekly writing or tips or inspirations. Um, it's patreon.com slash Scott K. Smith. The S, K, and the S are capitalized. Um, and uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please let me know. That's essentially what we're doing there. Uh, I hope you enjoy. For those of you who are subscribed now, thank you for all of your support and all of your feedback. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.